Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's been a while since I made a video on Void. In fact, it was so long ago that the video wasn't even called A Closer Look. I went searching to find whether I had done a closer look video on Void, and I remember doing a video, but it was not called A Closer Look. It was like abilities and gameplay or something like that. Well, now I have a five-star rank five awakened Void. So I figured it was time to make an updated uh, video on him. So first, let's take a look at his attributes. You can see them here. One thing I want to point out is his health. Void has a lot of health, okay? And that can help you out quite a bit. All right, and you see the champion tags. Now here, you can, and I always go right here, the block proficiency, because that plays such a big part in the end game content. However, uh, Kabam has said that they are going to be reducing the attack values across the board on Act 6, which is one of the you know end game contents that I was speaking of. And going forward, I don't believe that they will be uh, inflated that much uh, in the future. All right. And if you heard that, that was me I'm closing that down right now. So sorry. All right. So let's take a look at his synergies here. Whoops, not that. Synergies. All right. So first synergy, when charging heavy attacks, Void can gain up to three Fury buffs. That's actually pretty good. Now, I only have a four-star version of this OG Hulk. But I took him in, and you'll see it later on, I took him into the uh, variant, variant two. And I can't take him into Act 6, however, but it's a pretty decent synergy. Uh, this next synergy, when activating his special 3, uh, Void gains a reality warp charge for 30 seconds, uh, increasing the duration of any Fury effects activated afterwards by 20 seconds. Not a bad one, but the way that I normally play Void, that doesn't matter. Uh, and the way that most people play Void, that doesn't matter because we don't fire special threes off. We tend to spam the special one. Okay. Next up, we've got Overcoming Fear and Enemies. And you can see Fear of the Void activates at the start of the fight for 30 seconds. Sounds great, right? But it's only against Avengers. Uh, a little bit less than useful there. And then uh, the last one just increases crit rating. All right. So let's take a look here. Now, his signature ability is crucial to Void. Uh, that is why I often say Void needs to be awakened. Uh, when you hear someone saying that a champion needs to be awakened, ask them what they mean. In this case, in order for Void to be worthy of the place where I've put him, he needs to be awakened. He can be used unawakened, but there are going to be a lot of other champions that you would rather bring if he's not awakened. When he's awakened, however, then he becomes a beast. All right, so you can see here when all intimidating presence debuffs are at max stacks, instead of being removed, they are converted into a passive fear of the void. This is, you know, a defining ability of void. All right, it combines all of their effects and grants Void increased attack rating for 40 seconds. So understand, Void is going to get random buffs, and when they're filled, if he's not awakened, they're just going to get reset, and it's going to do it again. You can play him that way, but he's not very effective. Uh, when Fear of the Void is active, Intimidating Presence guarantees debuffs um, faster, okay? And Fear of the Void cannot exceed two stacks. So you can get two of the uh, Fear of the Voids up, and that is crazy, all right? So let's uh, take a look here. Um, yeah, I was trying to scroll it with my mouse. Don't ask me why. Uh, all right, so his passive, a suffocating, choking, and all-consuming Void provides full immunity to incinerate effects. So he's incinerate immune. Every 10 seconds, uh, Void's Intimidating Presence inflicts one random debuff. That's what I was telling you before. This, it's a little bit of a, a random. You cannot control which buffs. That's one of the uh, downsides. Uh, so like if you're trying to 
uh, reduce or, or reverse healing or power gain, you're at the mercy of the RNG, okay? Um, if at least one Intimidating Presence debuff is already active, all right? So spamming the special one pretty much is the way to go with Void. Opponents can purify one Intimidating Presence debuff for every 10 hits on their combo meter, okay? Um, that's useful, but not quite as much. Uh, now, here's that Intimidating Presence that we were talking about. Uh, for each champion alive on the opponent's team, Intimidating Presence debuffs have a 0.6 second delay before fully activating. So this matters if you're fighting Void, okay? If you're fighting Void, it's going to look at your team. So you kind of want um, you kind of want to go in there uh, without a full team, if you can. Uh, agility debuff reduces ability accuracy of evade and dexterity masteries by 30%. You got two stacks. These are the debuffs that he puts on randomly. Uh, fatigue debuff reduces critical rating. Petrify reduces uh, the opponent's regen. That's the one that most people are familiar with. And power uh, gain rate by 50%. Max stacks two. So as soon as you have two Petrifies, shuts them down completely. Then if you have any other way to reverse or to uh, reduce the healing further, it will reverse it. And so once you get that Fear of the Void up, you can get another Petrify and then another one and you will be, you know, um, reversing the healing. And you'll see that uh, the Despair Mastery works great, max it out, works beautifully with Void. Uh, when all Intimidating Presence debuffs are at max stacks, those debuffs will be removed after five seconds. But remember, his signature ability turns them into Fear of the Void, so you don't have to worry about uh, them just going away. It actually combines them all. That's why it's so important for him to be awakened. All right? Now, this one is why fighting against Void when you have Suicides on is not a good idea. For each unique debuff type, the opponent takes direct damage per second. So if you have Double Edge giving you that Bleed debuff, and you have Liquid Courage giving you the Poison debuff, you're taking a lot of direct damage without him having to do anything at all, just because you have those debuffs on you. Okay, so bear that in mind. That's why when I see a Void on my path, I just kind of grit my teeth because I have to change my Masteries out. Uh, if I tried to go in there with uh, full suicides, it'll be a race against the clock to see which one of us drops first. All right, so special attack one, all it does is inflict uh, intimidating presence, but that's what you want. Remember, the faster you can get to max stacks, the faster you'll get the fear of the void. And of course, you don't have control over what goes, you know, which debuff is selected. So special attack one is going to put one of them up you're hoping, in most cases, for the Petrify, but may not be. All right, Special Attack 2 inflicts two Dark Stings lasting 12 seconds. All right, an opponent with Dark Sting gains a Weakness or a Degeneration debuff. So keep in mind, that's another debuff. So it's going to be doing more damage just because of Void's ability. All right, um, per Sting when activating a Special Attack. Okay. Um, weakness reduces attack rating, you know, for 20 seconds and degeneration inflicts direct damage over 20 seconds. And then finally, special attack three, the strength of this special attack is increased based on how many unique debuff types are currently active on the opponent. Okay. And you can see there one to two unique debuffs, you get 20% fury, three to four, you get a 50%, five plus you get 250. So if you are going to fire off a special three, wait till you have, you know, maybe Fear the Void and have all of those debuffs active, then fire the special three off and you'll be doing a lot more damage. Okay, so now we're going to go into Variant and I'm going to show you a little bit of what Void can do, even in Mystery in the Micro Realms, where he cannot simply spam his special one. 
All right, so I chose to go into variant two, uh, also known as mystery in the micro realms. And here I'm gonna have to deal with a global and we'll take a look at it in a moment. But basically, because Void is a medium champion, the only things he can do that are safe from glancing and getting damage back are heavies and intercepts. So I can intercept, I can heavy, but that's about it. So that actually um, sort of reduces Void's effectiveness. I'm also running suicides. So I can't just spam the special one or I will kill myself. Then, if that's not enough, you have that limber node where I can't just parry and get away from him. So what you're gonna see me doing here is I'm trying to just eat away time off the clock. Uh, remember what we said earlier where you don't have any control over the debuffs that go on uh, your opponent. So what you see me doing here is I'm, I don't want to get caught in the corner. Okay, so I'm using some of the parries early, countering with a heavy attack just to give myself some distance. But what I'm trying to do here is just letting the uh, debuffs go. And you can see here we don't have, you know, the good ones that we want. So I was getting a little bit too close to the left side. So you saw that I fired off that special uh, one. All right. And what I don't want to do is hit him a lot because the aggressive regeneration, every time I hit him, it's going to take away a stack. But we want to heal reverse those uh, stacks of regen. So what you'll see me doing often, and just look at his health just melting away, I'll hit into his block in order to give myself a little bit of distance. And that way I don't have to rely on the limber, but I do have to rely on him actually blocking. All right, so you can see there it's glancing, but I'm not taking a whole lot of damage back. All right, and his health is just melting away. This is Void. Now, if we were in a different situation, this would have been much easier. If I wasn't running suicides, I could just spam the special one all day long. It would make those fights go much, much quicker. So this was actually showing how you can still use Void even when the situation is not optimal. So next up, we've got Hella. And it should be the same thing. So I'm gonna heal up a little bit, you know, because I know that I'm gonna probably mess up, get hit or attack, not thinking about the global and get a lot of damage back. So just wanna heal up to give myself a little bit of a buffer. And remember, Void has a large health pool, all right? But what I'm gonna do here, same exact strategy as the last time. Okay, so you see here early on, uh, I'm trying to save my parries and I was hitting into her block, pushing her away, but I'm really just waiting. Now we got lucky. The first debuff is that petrify. So we want to let the regen stack up because the higher it stacks, the more damage she's gonna be taking. Okay, but we only have one stack so far. We want two, all right? And then we want uh, Fear of the Void and if possible, get some more petrified. But that's one of the downsides to Void, other than him not being suicide friendly. Uh, one of the downsides is that uh, you really, really have no control over those debuffs. So there are times where the RNG doesn't favor you and you're sitting here, like you see me sitting here on one petrify and I'm getting all the other debuffs, it seems, except that second petrify and there we go we got the second petrify finally so that means that she's shut down and anything that i have that's reducing the healing even further is going to reduce and reverse her healing okay so you see she's just getting eaten alive look at look at it just melting away all right look at that 
And of course she has her cheat death or else she'd be dead right now. But that is it, that's void. All right, and you see where my health is at. I had to get those health potions. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.